Now, I'm not gonna lie, I am a bit surprised. Uh, there was a lot of Gladiator requests in the comments, and I thought for sure Gladiator would take this cake. Uh, but instead, to my another surprise, Blackbriar just slammed it home over 40% the entire time. That, or you guys just wanted to make a penis with the voting. Nevertheless, here we are with the Black Prior stereotypes, and you know, I think I have to retire my clean sheet of not saying a specific word. Uh, we'll also add a counter to how many times I say it. I hope you guys can forgive me, but it's gotta be done. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. You play female Black Prior religiously, and I can respect that hardcore. You love this helmet even though it's straight default, but you can never fully embrace the fashion you want with it because the crown is locked to your armor color. Or, you know, you're just a new player who picked up BP because you got really tired of BP beating you in Dominion. Look, man, I, I really tried with this helmet, like, and I always do with the lower half helmets, but I really tried with this one. But the shading and the color of the hood has it so hard to match with anything other than just edgy BP fashion. You can probably use this with a gold armor color and armor set, but let's be real. If you're high enough to use gold armor material, you are never thinking about using this helmet as an option. This is for the new players to give them something that isn't default as an option. Uh, this is definitely the helmet you spent tens of scavenger crates on in your low rep EP days. Somehow, it took you days of grinding to finally see this pop up in your inventory, but you really didn't care because you finally had a good helmet to use in the low reps. The best part of this helmet is there's actually no stereotype labeled. I've seen this used in every fashion. Black, gold, pink, red, you name it. These guys have tried it and done it. These guys don't like to be tied down when it comes to their fashion, and every week they're rocking some new BP fit because they got tired of the old one. What the fuck is this, man? Are you trying to look homeless with this on your head? What, did a cardboard bag rip down the middle and you thought, oh, you know, this could make a cool looking hat. Nobody uses this past the rip, you get it. It's near impossible to mix this with anything, and if you do use it and go, um, but this is my favorite helmet. I'm not changing my mind, bro. <laughs> Early game edge helmet. That's really it. You hit rep 3 and you run this helmet with copper and think, yeah, this helmet's so fucking cool. And then you hit rep 6 and you never touch this helmet again. These guys are transitioning from 50-50 BP to flip lover black prior, but they can't get the timings to flip down properly and just kind of eat a raw heavy most of the time. The only one I'd say is unusable is like that that one, like you get it rep 3. It's like a, it's like, I don't know what the fuck it is. It's like it's a like makeshift skull. No, it's like the makeshift skull. With like the oh, horns yeah. coming out of it on all sides, it's just so shit. It's so bad. Like the one he's wearing right now! <laughs> <laughs> that piece of shit. He's so edgy, bro. Look at him. <laughs> uh, something, something, Lord of the Rings fan. I don't know too much of the series, but looking at this just gives me Lord of the Rings vibes. So you took it and tried to make a Sauron cosplay with it. Just like Sauron's eye, you love the color orange, and hard crutch on the unblockable 50-50 every moment you get. Sometimes you just kind of forget the bash exists in the first place. You've been wanting to do some sort of old man black prior getup. This is mostly paired with chest plates that have no metal like steadfast rook chest or the vicious balaur uh, to keep this brown look. That's a long stretch because this helmet was abandoned by almost every black prior past rep 8. You definitely ditched the meta feats for things like Tough as Nails, Speed Revive, and Regenerate. Your teammates really don't like you, but you don't really give a shit. You thought Royal Gambit Helmet was super cool, and then you abandoned it instantly for this one. These guys love Bash. Neutral Bash, In Chain Bash, or Heavy Faint to Bash. These guys use it extensively. And what that stops working, and when that stops working, they will zone you from neutral to start their chain and end it with an unblockable feint to guard break. These guys are kind of predictable, but they are saved a lot by his bash recoveries being just so damn fast. If this weren't the case, they would probably struggle a lot in their fights. You love the default head gear, but you don't want to look edgy and love things like winter woods and white iron. So this helmet perfectly fits you. Most of the time, these guys run the full set of camera because it has those nice accents of gold and scale mail always just looks really nice. 
These guys normally are nice players. Not like good at the game nice, but just nice mentally. When these guys are losing a fight, they give you shields with their tier 1 feet. Always stick to your res. You mostly run Rising Dawn. Oh yeah, you know what's coming up. I think you guys know. Full black iron, a Bollion armor color, Royal Gambit chest, all black, everything, everything, all black, edge lord. You literally only run that one execution. You know the one that takes 20 seconds long, the one that everyone thought was super cool, but after the 300th time of seeing it, they got really bored of it. Other right, than these guys though, they never got tired of it. These guys have the shortest temper in all black prior mains. It's a miracle if these guys don't rage quit after dying once in the match. Or I, I guess you just want to do a Skeletor cosplay. Why? I, I never understood this helmet. Were they trying to make it look like he just did 10 lines of coke? You probably play this helmet with female Black Rider only because male BP just is just... I don't know, I don't like looking at it. It makes me uncomfortable. You're trying to go for some royalty BP, but in reality it doesn't work, and you know that yourself, but you refuse to admit it. When these guys are on your team, they are not very good. They feed revenge, but once they get Oathbreaker, they are your best friend. Oh, these guys are mega turtles. You know those people that join a gank already in the full block stance? Yeah, these guys. Flipping people is their only goal and they don't care how long it takes. Their right thumbstick is practically falling off because they're holding it down for so long and the C button on their keyboard is completely faded off. These guys would rather be dead than take off their armor that gives them last stand, ventral barrier, and the bastion perks. These guys actually aren't edgy black priors. If anything, this helmet's normally run with white iron because it gives you that white trim instead of making everything else white. These guys are pretty decent at the game, but 100% crutch, crutch on crushing counters. Doesn't matter if it's a one-on-one -on -one or an external coming their way, they're gonna crush it 95% of the time. It's hard for them to break habits, even when they're being parried over and over and over again. Yeah, this is BP's most overused helmet for many reasons. Well, the first one being is it's kind of the only helmet you can do Crusader Black Prior with. And well, it's one of his best helmets, period. Sadly, as I've said, and I've done for every hero uh, so far, this is Black Prior's War Pig. So many people think they're hot shit when they use this helmet. They mostly go for flip bait punishes like backstep light into flip, or if the opponent has a charge bash, they always dodge on level 1 and then flip the level 3. But if you punish them once trying to bait you, they get mega tilted. Like, I'm gonna pop Umbro Shelter on a 1 on 1 because you guard broke my flip attempt type tilted. Yeah, you're gonna go for a Dark Souls cosplay. You think the sign on the head looks reminiscent of the Dark Sign from the Dark Souls series, and you made an emblem to go just with it. You're mostly rocking some sort of Warriors of the Sunlight getup, so silver, green, and yellow colors is what you're going for. And speaking of yellow, or I guess orange, neutral and blockable is your favorite move. A sense of joy always fills you when you successfully external some poor guy for 25 damage. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sorry, are you just trying to look bad? You look like someone that got drunk in Mardi Gras and then fell in a dumpster, and that's how you came out. The BP under the hood looks depressed too, and you know why? Cause you made him look like this! The only thing I could physically think of, and it's a long stretch, is you rock this helmet with behind those blue eyes to get some sort of Sans Undertale fit going on, but bro, throw that shit in the garbage, I beg you. This is also kind of like the Queen's Pawn, where it works with every fashion set in the game. You want to do edgy, white knight, colorful? Yeah, you get the point. These guys think that since it's got gold in it, that it's objectively better than the uh, other helmet. I mean, I don't know. It's got more detail on it, but can we just stop with the skulls? Like, please, man. Overall, these guys are just average at the game. Most of the time, they mess up their tier 1 feet and give it to someone as they're dying. So it just uses the tier 1, but the guy's dead already, and you're just missing health at this point. Uh, nope. Next. You wanted to have the cardboard helmet work, but it just looked awful. But thankfully, Ubisoft made this one, which is objectively a hundred times better. You're probably running black iron because the little band over the head changes color based on armor material. Uh, this is most likely being paired with the Hokuro's Demos chest with no customization at all. Uh, not a lot of people use this, but 
I feel like they would definitely run support Black Prior, only running around helping their team in best case scenario. You know those guys that flip other Black Prior flips? These guys. You really want a helmet to fit the Supreme Veil chest, but you didn't want to use that piece of literal garbage the game calls a helmet. You're 100% going for a blue and gold type royalty look, even changing the weapon and shield to have hints of gold in them. I've never been disappointed with players that choose this combo because it's unique most of the time, and unique players always kind of play very well. You're low on health in a team fight? Boom, this guy's giving you first feet instantly. Did you just feed revenge? Don't worry, this guy's behind you with Oathbreaker right in his pocket. Point is, when you see someone with like this, you'll mostly have a nice time with them. You're using this because it's test your Metal Gear and you think it's really rare, and I'm sorry to tell you this, but everyone and their grandmothers who played Black Prior own this helmet because they were farming for the chest plate instead, but got this helmet 50 fucking times before it. I mean, you could try cosplays like Red Skull, but it's just not very good because the hood is a stagnant, non-changing color. These guys tend to have the same tendencies as the Sacramentum BPs, meaning these guys will walk into a losing fight on their own, realize it's a losing fight, spend for help when their time is dead, mauled in game chat, and then rage quit even though they were winning the game. God, I fucking hate these people. <sighs> these guys know their fashion. 99% of the time, these guys make you go, damn, that's a good looking Black Briar. And that's all they want in their games. They can go 0 and 10, but it don't matter, because they know they have a good look. But please, for your team's sake, just learn how to flip properly. All right, that has been Black Prior Helmet Stereotypes. I'm, again, really surprised that this one won over Gladiator, but yet again, after this one will come out, I'm going to make a poll after with characters that you guys recommend in the comments, and then whoever wins that poll will get the next video. Uh, if you guys have watched this through fully, I just want to say thank you very much for supporting me for so long. As I made in the poll, I would like to hit 5,000 subs before August, being my birthday. It'd be a really cool type birthday gift if you all could band together and make it happen. Uh, but if not, it doesn't matter. Nevertheless, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you another time. Peace.